This is how you remind me of what I really am. Yet, 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 no, no. Yet, 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 oh no. Hi fans of high quality entertainment. I'm in my bedroom. I was just listening to a Nickelback CD because that's my preferred format of listening. But uh, this is this is kind of weird. I turned the fan off just for you. Um, so so yesterday <laughs> my video was about uh, reorganizing my CD collection. And as some of you know, because I posted it on Facebook and in my community and had a very uh, interesting vote about the fact that I, you know, I buy CDs. It's warm in here because I turned the fan off. I think I mentioned that already. Uh, this person wrote, nobody listens to CDs in 2019, old man. He also has to insult me. Uh, Get with the ages. And so I posted in my community, do you listen to, you know, because I, you know, not that it matters to me, but I was just interested if people listen to CDs, maybe they don't, because I'm old. Uh, so I asked, do you listen to CDs at all? This old man does, along with Spotify. And there were over 600 votes. Thank you very much, by the way. And 74% of you still listen to CDs. And some of you aren't old like I am. And uh, speaking of old, uh, it's it's not too often I'm insulted for my age, but you know, when, when somebody calls me an old man, it's at first, it, I guess it is an insult, but then when you really think about it, it's like, I'd rather be old than the alternative. And some people don't get to be old. So I'm actually seriously proud to be old. So, this is on the weekends, because during the week I'm just too busy, okay, doing videos for all of you. This is usually, I listen to CDs with this Sony Ghetto Blaster. I mean, it's not, it's good sound for me. I'm happy with it. I mean, I'm, I know there's people that have these huge stereo systems and all that, but it is what it is. And these Sony headphones, which I love. Except for they're all worn out there on the top. They are stereo headphones, not mono. MDR XB500. So I, and they're very comfortable too. And uh, so recently I've been listening to the band, music from Big Pink and the other CDs I bought. Uh, this has really impressed, I mean, I've always loved it, but I'm starting to think this could possibly be the greatest progressive rock album of all time. Definitely in the top, right at the top. Bad Finger, their greatest hits. Uh, Pendulum by Creedence Clearwater Revival. And I keep talking about these two albums by Yes That. You old fans of Yes that just like their early stuff, you gotta check these out because they are, I feel, just as good as their early, early albums and magnification. Uh, and <laughs> I do listen to, to a lot of Spotify digital and for me it sounds, even on my phone, it sounds good enough. Uh, and so, so I was actually a bit surprised that almost 75% of you listen to CDs. I thought it would be lower. But it just goes to show you, uh, you know, pe people in their own mind, oh, that's old stuff. you got to, you know, do the latest, hippest thing, like digital. And, uh, I mean, there's people out there that have 8-track collections, and that's fine. Like, do what, do what you want to do, and you don't have to follow bloody trends. As long as there's CDs, there's things I, I love about CDs, and uh, the main reason I don't just go all digital, which I think digital is great, but what I do with 
a lot of digital is I check out different music and if I like something enough I will buy a CD. It also I think supports the artist a bit more than digital because I think they get paid more of CD sales than digital of course. And uh, where am I going with this? But the, I think some of these younger kids, he calls me a uh, old man, I can call him a young kid. They don't understand the joy, be, you know, because me growing up with vinyl records and the physicalness of it, the physicalness of it, and, you know, opening it up and uh, pictures and text. And that's the other thing, I wouldn't be able to scan booklets for all of you out there if I just went straight to digital. And so, you know, there's booklets. I mean, the printing is sometimes too small, and that sucks. But, I mean, I want the physical. Uh, if, if I love something enough, I want a physical copy of it, not just something to stream. That's, it's pretty simple. And I know, you know, you could go online and maybe see the, the cover online and the lyrics and everything and the pictures or whatever. But like I said, I like, I like to touch the physical. <laughs> so uh, I just want to thank everybody for uh, all of the nice comments. And, and if, you're, uh, if you don't listen to CDs, that's totally fine. But, but don't criticize somebody that does, you know, just, just like I said. You know, uh, I was never into 8-tracks. I hated them. But if somebody is a fan of 8-tracks, good for them. You know, that's the way the world should be. Just stop bitching and complaining like I just did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.